An early season snowfall had State College looking more ready for Christmas than Halloween, but the Beaver Stadium field was in great condition, as was Penn State's defense. They made a statement early against a potent Illinois team that came into the game averaging over 28 points and more than 400 yards a game. But the Nittany Lion defense has been stingy all year and pitched a first quarter shutout, not in points, but yards, holding the Lion Eye to negative yardage for the quarter and without a single first down. With a bye week ahead, the Lions were trying to remain the only Big Ten team without a conference loss. Delivers downfield for Brown, got it 45-40, inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. First down, Penn State. Excellent blitz pickup by Penn State and well delivered by McGloin. Breaking a tackle to get another Penn State first down to the 25. To the 25 and driven down by Akeem Spence. It'll be fourth down and now Anthony Farah with a chance to try and get Penn State the lead. So Farah misses from 43. We are still scoreless. They'll give the ball to Young, squirts to the outside, and then in the open field, Astorino hits him, and Kyrie Fort finishes him off for no gain. Shieldhouse back, steps up, in trouble, gets away, 30 to the 33, and Illinois will have to kick it away again. Penn State defensively doing a job here in the first quarter. Broken eye too far side, McGloin gives the ball to Red. Red, fumble. Fumble the football, Illinois around it at the 38-yard line, and Illinois has the ball. So at the 37 yard line that's where Illinois will put it in play there's the first big break but Penn State kept it from being a factor their cold-hearted defense matched the weather and they attacked with a ferocity that had Illinois going backwards play action back he goes steps up in trouble holding penalty and down goes Shieldhouse and the arms of Gerald Hodges again his fifth sack of the year toss goes to AJ Jenkins the wide receiver will be dropped for a loss. So the player who leads the nation in receiving yards lines up in the backfield just to get him the football. Ripped and down back at the 32-yard line. You talk about changing field position. Our defensive line is trying to do that right now on the sack on Shieldhouse. Now Pollard taken down by Carson for a loss. Right. Pollard, as soon as he gets a football by Glenn Carson, minus one yards on the day for the Illinois offense. Snow had been piling up since before dawn, but what really accumulated was big plays by the Penn State defense. The game stayed scoreless with each side trying to force the other into a critical mistake. The Nittany Lions had been ball scavengers on defense all year, and they would force a season high four turnovers. We'll give the ball to Young. Uh, no, Shieldhouse keeps it 50, 45, 40, and taken down hard where he football. fumbles the football. Penn State jumping up and down because they have the football. Nick Suke forces the fumble. Penn State is already way ahead of their takeaway totals from all of last season. But for this Saturday, the Lions also had trouble holding on to the ball fumbling four times in the first half and losing two of those. Rob Bolden's fumble at Illinois in business at the Penn State 25. And now Illinois, which has played this field position chess game the entire afternoon, has a chance to take the lead. Gerald Hodges in open space takes him down for a loss. It's fourth down, and Derek Dimke was not missed this year. Comes on now for his eighth field goal attempt of the season. Puts it, and they fumbled it, and picked up by Russell. He's hit by Hodges. It's intercepted by Stanley, and down he goes to the 20-yard line. For the first time in 27 years, a Penn State game was scoreless at halftime. Not hard to figure with the Nittany Lions starting the day, fifth in the country in scoring defense. Penn State had never had a measurable snowfall for a game in October before, and the meteorological oddity set the stage for a game that continued to be dominated by defense and turnovers. Both teams continued to use two quarterbacks, and Matt McGloin started the second half for Penn State. He was intercepted early in the half, but it took just two plays for the Penn State defense to return the favor. It's intercepted! It's intercepted by Penn State! Danton Lynn picked off Riley O'Toole's pass as he wrestled yet another possession away from Illinois. But the Illini finally started the move late in the third quarter. Their ground game started to churn up some yardage. They had won just once before in Beaver Stadium, and that was last year. And we're looking to make it two in a row. Still on his 
feet inside the 25. Ford inside the 20, all the way down to the 11. Back to pass, delivers in the end zone, caught by Harris, touchdown Illinois. You can't hold them all day. They almost did, though. The game moved into the fourth quarter, and the Penn State defense was more determined than ever. Illinois would not score again. The question was, would Penn State? Their special teams unit helped provide an answer. They set up camp at the 25-yard line. Here they come! It is blocked! Brad Bars blocks it for Penn State, and the Nittany Lions get the special teams play they needed! This defense, the special teams unit, they've continued to play hard. Can an offense finally make one of these five takeaways? Can they finally, finally take advantage of so many opportunities this afternoon? To the 20, right to the 16-yard line where he's tripped up on a first down for Penn State. Boy, he was an eyelash away from going all the way on this one. That looks like first and goal, and it is. Smith's diving grab at Penn State superfans dancing in the aisles and the Lions knocking on the door. While a sack ended the drive, the right foot of Anthony Farah ended Penn State's scoring drought. With Illinois looking to shorten the game, the offense had to wait for a second try at the end zone. And I think they'll be very conservative running the football here. I just think Ron Zook feels right now this is a way he can win a football game here at Beaver Stadium, especially way the Penn State offense has been unable to get in the end zone. Back to pass with time over the knocked down and incomplete. Penn State defensively with 403 left to go and all of their timeouts left. But they have got to get a stop here on third down. Hit and drop by James Terry at the 46 of Penn State. It is fourth down. 3.05 to go with three timeouts, down by four, looking to win it. But then throwing completed, and who makes the grab but Derek Moy coming back from a broken bone in his left foot. Not expected to play today. Five week coming. It was supposed to be Moy coming back for Nebraska. Sets, delivers over the middle, caught by Justin Brown. Illinois 47 yard line, first down. McGlory throwing again, right back to Justin Brown. First down, Brown dives to near the 35. Move the chains, Penn State driving. McGloin on third down, back he goes, sets. He throws for Moy, make, dropped it. Dropped it, incomplete the 22. Fourth down, and here is the ball game right here. Back to pass. Deep drop, sets, waits. Long downfield for Moy in the end zone. He's there. Flags go down. Pass interference on Justin Green. First down, Penn State. Derek Moy's unexpected return sent a shockwave of excitement through the bouncing student whiteout crowd that was felt high above by those calling the plays in the coach's box. Every yard was hard earned, and the Lions were not going to give in now. This was as much about will as it was football. McGloin under center, turns, gives the ball to Red, left side, Red lowers the shoulder, touchdown, Penn State, and the Nittany Lions take the lead with 1.08 to go. They go 80 yards in the clutch and go in front. Illinois had all three timeouts and a little more than a minute to work with, and they had to go to the air. Penn State's defense would hold them to less than 100 passing yards for the game, but this was the desperation minute. And the Illini managed to pick up three first downs and get into field goal range with five ticks left on the clock. Derek Demke had not missed one all season. 42-yard attempt for overtime, center of the field. Good snap, put down, kick by Demke, he's on his way, the kick by Demke is, it's the upright, no good, and Penn State wins the game! Win 409 for Joe Paterno, his head coach at Penn State, comes in as dramatic fashion as one could have imagined. Penn State persevered, and the memory of 409 etches itself into Nittany Lion lore, and Penn State remains the only team in the Big Ten without a conference loss.